Hello and welcome once again. This is the third edition of the Koa University series of tutorials using the WWE 12 game. I am your host 3X and before I begin please excuse if my voice sounds a little garbled because I'm currently under the weather at the moment fighting off a sore throat and a runny nose so if I sound a little congested through this microphone there's good reason for it but still this here is a tutorial that a lot of people have been asking for and probably one of the single most uh, desired you could say aspects of the logo designer that I'm going to be showing you some techniques on and that being tattoo creation uh, before I actually get into any techniques as always little something for you to start off with uh, the last tutorial in which I did which was using the paint tool for creating uh, tires some of the things that you have to take into consideration for tattoo creation still have to be applied to this as well the most important of which being planning ahead it doesn't hurt to go through Google and uh, take a look uh, different pictures of people with tattoos and seeing where placement of them are popular placement of them and also more obscure placements obviously uh, for guys most people will make tattoos for the shoulders or a full arm sleeve the back area sometimes the chest area and for girls usually it's either the arm sleeve shoulder back chest or the lower small of the back commonly known as the tramp stamp but if you look around you'll see that a lot of people get tattoos in other places as well like the uh, obliques the uh, basically the sides of the abdominal area on guys the uh, pectorals the uh, chest muscles either left or right and uh, just other places as well as long as they're visible like the uh, thighs um, the neck area and if you want to go so bold as having a call who has that kind of a affinity for tattoos you can put some on their head over the back of the head top of the head or face if you will so just do a little bit of research on that and see exactly how tattoos look on different parts of the body to give you an idea of where it is that you might want to try putting tattoos on your own cause and going back into the character behind the call make sure that it makes sense to put tattoos on the call based on their style obviously tattoo culture has been around for a long time but generally you wouldn't put tattoo designs on a more traditional call probably somebody who is uh, younger most certainly somebody who is American and some other nationalities but these are all things that you should take into consideration when you're uh, in the initial phase of designing your call I mean your uh, tattoo for your call and then of course the probably trickiest phase of it is actually finding a design that you want to put on the call luckily like I said you have Google and Bing and uh, DeviantArt plenty of different assorted sources through which you can go around and find designs that you might want to try to recreate or create some form of facsimile of design 
Now, the uh, design that I'm going to be recreating, of course, I'll have a link to the actual image in the uh, description. But I decided to go with something that's kind of simple, but at the same time, a little more complex. That way you can see some of the uh, in intermediate techniques of uh, tattoo design because I don't want to start you out with uh, a startup job and also through this tutorial I'm going to tell you a little bit about uh, color blending for the tattoo specifically for uh, different skin tones which is also one thing that a lot of people ask about when it comes to uh, tattoo design so I'm gonna get started with the uh, initial design here and of course as stated in the last tutorial using the uh, logo tool we're only really gonna have to do half of the work because the uh, mirror tool is going to do the other half now you can see from the uh, photograph that it's kind of a combination of a butterfly tribal tattoo yeah, obviously I would recommend something like a butterfly or flowers to be put on a female call even though you do have guys out there who have tattoos of butterflies and fish and flowers on their person um, uh, not really a good look in my personal opinion but that's just my own personal preference as far as uh, tattoos go I happen to have a tattoo myself which was one that I actually designed myself so it's a little more personal and ultimately most people who get tattoos do it for uh, personal reasons so you can't really uh, question their judgment too much now the one thing to take into consideration here if you decide that you want to do tattoo designs for cause is that and this is very important it's not like you're doing a design for uh, tights or uh, kick pads or any attire pieces where you can be a little more technical in your approach in the case of uh, tattoo designs you do indeed have to have some kind of artistic inclination now you don't have to be an artist but you have to consider or take into consideration I should say the fact that this is in fact a piece of art that you are creating it's got to be something that looks aesthetically I'm not gonna say pleasing but it's gotta look good basically because any tattoo artist will tell you that you don't want to create something that looks ugly or tacky or unimaginative because specifically in the case of a tattoo artist they don't get a second chance see you do because you're not working on actual flesh so that's the one advantage that you have compared to a real tattoo artist but a on the same token your tattoo designs have to look good they have to look as realistic as possible which goes double on the fact that the logo designer as I stated before is a pixel based tool and your goal is to make your designs look as little pixelated as possible so there we have the uh, centerpiece of the uh, butterfly caterpillar type thing so then we're just basically going to work out 
the wings and then the uh, tribal edging blades whatever it is that you want to call them for one side and mirror it and then it'll be done on the other side uh, another thing that you want to look out for in terms of uh, tattoo designs and this get again is something that's equally important to uh, actual tattoo design something that they'll talk about a lot is line work basically outlining uh, your design no matter what kind of design it is be it a portrait or an abstract or whatever it is you want your lines to be as free form as possible you don't want to do something that's too thick to where it basically uh, covers an entire body part now there are obviously tattoo styles that utilize that kind of uh, technique to where an entire part or area is covered in one specific color but you don't generally see it done too often it's not really common it's more specific to different styles of uh, tattoos that are in actuality more in tune to uh, certain ethnicities like uh, Asian or uh, Native Americans or Native uh, Mexican Mayans things of that nature they correlate to the nationality of that person so obviously not everybody's going to use or have that style of design in their tattoos or on their person so if you're making a call who has a certain ethnic background you can get away with doing stuff like that but in general you want to keep the lines light and uh, basically make your outlines be as uh, free-flowing and not as heavy as possible unless again that goes into the uh, style of uh, tattoo that you are trying to make like I said again it's 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 definitely more an artistic application than doing the same thing to create attire pieces which is probably the biggest reason why as for as many people who want to do it not a lot of people can because again artistic intuition is the key but luckily it's not something that you have to go to art school or know how to draw to be able to do all it takes is a little bit of research on your parts and as I said in the last tutorial one part application and one part execution and you can be able to pull stuff off like this with a little bit of practice so there goes layer two if you will the uh, actual butterfly wings and then we will stretch those out into the uh, actual tribal blades which I'd say is probably going to be the uh, the standout part of this particular design uh, I don't care what anybody says tribal designs are always popular 
don't ask me why they're always popular they just are and it could be primarily because they're so easy to uh, draw out and all it takes is a couple of uh, combinations of symmetrical designs lines and curves and you can come up with some pretty unique pieces of work all by themselves you can even create designs of other objects made out of tribal designs which is a trick or technique that is constantly used in uh, tattoos and then I'll go a little bit into the actual more artistic uh, tattoos stuff that's actually drawn out you know hand drawn such as portraits or general pieces of uh, fine art most commonly like uh, Japanese style tattoos things of that nature that obviously will require a little more detail I would probably not recommend anybody try to do those type of tattoos in any of the uh, Smackdown games and the reason being unless you want to sit around and try to recreate a drawing pixel for pixel I don't think you have that much time in your life to do something like that I know I don't and even if you do then you have to uh, take into consideration the continuity of this particular piece of art that you're creating and the fact that you're going to have to recreate the same exact piece of art for the same exact call for as long as you are going to make that call for the next iteration of the Smackdown games considering the fact that obviously at least on the PlayStation 3 you don't have the luxury of an image importing tool option hack whatever it is that the 360 users have if you're on a 360 then okay you're good go for it do what you gotta do but I'm not gonna get into my uh, whole mythos behind hacking and texturing and so on and so forth because that's another discussion for another day now you can see that obviously the design is actually not 100% accurate to the actual picture and that's okay because you can get away with it not being 100% accurate on the fact that it doesn't need to be and most of the time no matter what kind of design you're creating whether it be a tattoo or a regular piece of clothing article they don't have to be 100 percent accurate they just have to look they just have to look basically like they would look good on an actual car model so I have the basic outline done now I'm just going to put in uh, small little details maybe a couple of smaller lines to give it a little more uh, depth in terms of the uh, wing area and then I also got to do the uh, antennas which is pretty easy there we go let me do the antenna just a slight little curve there then we're gonna fill this in all the way black
as you can see then after we do the total filling we'll go to the mirror tool and finish the job so there is a reasonable facsimile of the uh, tattoo design that we had I set up to create it first like I said it's not accurate but accuracy is not 100% necessary so what we'll do now is we'll save it as I said before it's the high res 256 by 256 slot as you can see there that I was working in and then you would basically uh, import that design into a 128 by 128 slot but before we actually do that we'll actually go back in and we'll adjust the color of the total design so that it will look like a tattoo and not like a black design that's basically going to look painted on like a piece of body art on the uh, actual cost flesh and through that I'm going to demonstrate two specific color blending techniques one for lighter skin and one for darker skin okay so we're back inside of the uh, initial design and now we're going to go into the uh, color blending if you pay attention to the color blocks on the lower right hand corner you can see me adjusting the shade raising it up to about 50 between 50 and 60 this is the uh, color scheme that I use for uh, lighter skin tones like uh, now you can afford maybe to raise it up a little bit more 80 will probably be the maximum I would go I'll typically go up to about 60 maximum but you can get away with 80 if you want a tattoo that has a more uh, lived in look that being a tattoo that is a little more faded in need of touching up so to speak one thing you have to remember in terms of tattoos is that tattoos are done with ink and ink is transparent meaning that it will not show on an opaque surface by opaque I mean darker toned darker colored like uh, black think of it like uh, ink in a pen any old regular old ballpoint pen magic marker if you try to use a black marker on a black piece of paper you're not gonna see it if you try to use it on a brown piece of paper you'll see it but it will not be as dark as it would if you were using it on say a red piece of paper or a white piece of paper that goes into the transparency of the ink so the darkest color in the color spectrum black will not come out black on anything except for white any other color and a transparent black will lose some of its luminosity against the surface that it's on in this particular instance it would be the human body so we have our resized piece here and I'm gonna go ahead and go into a call model and demonstrate to you exactly how this piece is going to look on the skin so now we're actually in the uh, call mode itself 
and here you, are. you see the uh, female call model regular default skin tone as it is when you start out just entering the mode uh, one other little trick here just a little added incentive for you which is kinda common core knowledge but just in case you don't know about it the uh, shine on the uh, skin tone or skin texture if you will you should always bump that one up don't keep it down to where it's default which is negative 34 I believe it was get it above zero you don't want to put it too high but generally somewhere between 0 to 20 will make the car look more realistic compared to uh, the in-game wrestlers because they'll have that uh, sheen to them which indicates more uh, I guess sweat or what have you they just look more realistic as the uh, regular wrestlers in game do if you increase the uh, the sheen shine it'll also help the tattoo look a little more realistic on the skin as well as you will soon see so we're gonna go to tattoos custom logo we're gonna put this on the back there goes the low res version and there you see the uh, design itself meshes very well with the skin there's no uh, dark spots it's a pretty natural looking color that kind of matches into the uh, skin tone very well now, like I said you can make the shade a little higher than 60 like I have it 60 is the color that the shade I should say that I generally use more but if you wanted to make it look lighter like the tattoo's been on the skin longer and has naturally faded because tattoos will naturally fade over time then you can bring up the shade to maybe about 80 maximum anything higher than that and it's not going to look as realistic one color that you really don't want to use in a tattoo design white because white is not a transparent color white on skin is going to look white and that will make anything look like it's just basically painted on so stay away from white even if the design looks like it has white just make it completely transparent to where it doesn't look like it's anything like make it basically an empty area where the flesh, the skin itself shows, but no white. Anyway, we'll slap that on there. And I'll give you one last look at it here. That's with the default color. And now I'm going to show you how it looks like with some of the other colors. That's the bright color obviously it's gonna look a little more darker against brighter colored skin that's okay because if you see a more pale cream complexion colored person with tattoos their tattoos do look a little brighter whereas conversely on the other side of the spectrum a darker colored person you're barely going to see the tattoo now actually you do see the tattoo because it looks gray against the black that's because the 60 is not the color that you would use for a darker colored tone I'm gonna show you how that works in the next part of this tutorial but I just wanted to show you how in comparison to the lighter shades the same shade looks on a darker shade and why it's necessary to change the shade when you're putting a tattoo on a person of uh, African descent anyway that's the brighter lightest color the in-between color the more tan default color 
the slightly yellowish color. For this one, you could probably stand to brighten it up a little bit more as well. Raise the shade. Then the more olive uh, Hispanic color. Pretty much the same idea. This color, I don't really know what kind of ethnicity you could use for that. That's kind of a little too yellow. And then we get into the darker shades. This would be kind of a mulatto skin tone, mixed race. And then into the uh, browns. And now that I see, I actually forgot to fill in the uh, circles in the wings. I'll go back and do that. But you basically get the idea of how the design looks like on brighter colored skin. So now I'm going to show you next how to blend the color for darker colored skin. Okay, so we're back in the uh, original design again. And we're going to go back to the uh, color box for uh, darker colored skin tones, basically. In the case of a black person, uh, African American, if you will, or brown skin. The uh, color itself, the shade itself, has to be considerably darker because once again the uh, skin itself is darker. So the uh, tattoo design has to look a little more uh, blended into the darker toned skin because naturally certain colors will not show up on brown skin which is why you generally see more darker colored people with tattoos having tattoos that are specifically one color usually black or as close to black as possible with uh, outlines and details and stuff like that but maybe you might see some uh, red in the design but most of the time that's pretty much it certain colors obviously will not even show on uh, a black person's skin as they would for a lighter toned person so I dropped the shade down to about a 25 is a safe number we're gonna see how it looks like actually on the uh, darker skin tone and based on that you can make a finer adjustment to the design always make sure that you're working from uh, the original design and not any ones that you copy over like I said I always work in 256 and then import that design into the smaller 128 slot don't ever get rid of the 256 one until you are completely done with the call because the last thing you want to do is upload it and then delete it and then wind up having to use it again and have to re-download it what I do is usually I'll take a picture of uh, that specific design so that I have it archived so that I can be able to recreate it for the next version of the game 
and then the original design I'll upload it to the server and then delete it from the logo menu and continue on with whatever it is that I have to work on next so we're back again in the uh, call menu and this time we're going to uh, go right ahead and set the uh, skin tone to a darker one again raise the shade up and then apply the second darker version of our uh, tattoo design and there you see that against the darker skin tone the darker design blends in extremely well the same way that the lighter skin tone blended well with the lighter design does this car model have tan lines okay I'm paying too much attention to that let me stop <laughs> <laughs> All right. So what I'm going to do now actually to compare is put the lighter one on top of the darker one just so that you can see how they blend on the different skin tones. We're going to go back to skin. and then I'm going to show you jack up the shine again and you see from all sides of the spectrum how the two shades of the tattoo design look like on all the different shades of skin the top one is the brighter one that's a uh, shade 60 and the bottom one is the darker shade 25 it's the brightest tone slightly darker the tan default then we go into the more yellowish tones olive tone hispanic for the hispanic one you can pretty much use either or because it's kind of in the middle there this one here like I said I don't really use that skin tone this one's more mulatto kind of in the same vein of the uh, Hispanic olive tone this one's actually a little more olive you can get away with using either or and then for the brown tones you can pretty much see that a darker shade is mandatory for the darker skin tones this one here admittedly I don't really use the uh, completely brown chocolate skin tone I know I'm wrong yeah but for this skin tone you could bring the shade down as close to black as possible and get away with it I mean you're barely gonna see the tattoo against the skin tone anyway so you can make it blackish maybe with a shade of about 10 not completely totally dark but something like a real dark grayish tone will work for this specific skin color but most of the black people I make I will use this skin tone right here and a 25 shade is pretty good almost perfect these two skin tones here primarily I would use for a cause of a African descent so that actually will do it for this 
tutorial hope it was helpful to you and as always if there are any questions comments or concerns that you may have you can feel free to leave them either in the comments below my inbox here on YouTube or you can send me a personal message over at the uh, cause.ws forums regarding this and of course anything else that you might want to uh, get a tutorial on um, more than willing to uh, fulfill any requests that people might have as far as the call creation process and how to do things differently or a little more unique anyway that's gonna do it for this tattoo tutorial and uh, again sorry for the garbled voice but I'm fighting biology here <laughs> There'll be plenty of editing that will have to be done to this video to uh, get out the uh, sniffles and sneezes and coughs. So, yeah. The things I do for you people, you should really appreciate. I'm, I'm just saying. That's going to do it for me. This is 3X. This has been Call University. And class is dismissed. <laughs>